you prepare to become one of the biggest sex symbols going? <laughs> uh, I don't know. How do you prepare for that? <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't see anything. That's that's the annoying thing. And also, you got to be acting. Like, it, it was kind of. Yeah, there, there are a couple of times where. Where you think you're swimming towards the diver with with the breathing apparatus, and then you find it's just like something in the water, and you're like, <laughs> and then you just don't know what to do. I mean, they film your stupid face just like screaming underwater. And you're I mean, like, yeah. I mean, everyone starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> just ah, uh, great. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doing acting, and like Emma as well. Like she could just, she just does it. Like she she's an actress. <laughs> and she always has been, and she's just an incredibly intelligent young person. And, uh, <laughs> so who's who's the standing right next to you? Come on, get my name right. No, it's just, it's, I think it's just Rob. Hey, what's my name? You look at the script. I think it's just Rob. <laughs> what's my name, Rob? Uh, that's, my that's, name? That's, what's my name? That's that one. Hi, Kerry. That's that no, one. Famous. Just plain rude. Kristen's the best actress of my generation, and that's why I wanted to do this movie. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, I don't know why she is. She's just better than everybody else. <laughs> Maybe we should just oh, leave that. Maybe we should just leave that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's impressed you the most about him so far? I think he's really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> like a very kiddie, you know, it's very kiddie and very tame. It's supposed to be very sweet. Yeah, like they're testing each other's limits. But then it turns into like hell, like all kisses do. <laughs> <laughs> Do two yep. actors sit down and say, okay, I'm going to come in this way, you're going to come in this way, make sure you guys don't bump noses or whatever? Yeah, I mean, those things, you know. Kristen doesn't have any idea what she's doing at all. Yeah, he was like five weeks old. And it was and it was so. kind of like towards the end of its time there, right? Is yeah, that what I read? Was, yeah, he was a, um, in a five-day kill shelter, and it was on his fourth day. And, uh, wow. Lucky dog yeah. that you walked in that day. Uh, and a couple of days later, just by coincidence, I had to go back to L.A., and this... It's not my usual way of traveling, but we had a, like a private plane, and so I took him from like the worst town in, in Monroe, Louisiana, and uh, he was sitting on a, on a private jet. On a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's That's really hilarious. That's I mean, I awesome. Thinking, Having a cocktail, looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so long, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you proposed a number of times. Literally, before? I get texts saying like, "Are we still on for the marriage on Friday?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not, not getting, you're not getting cold feet. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who it is. It's like I have so many Veronicas and Carolines and stuff. On your Blackberry right now? On yeah, your, on your like phone? Who's that? I'm not even in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared? Let me see. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Show me. I think I might have deleted it. <laughs> like, Come on, let me see. Uh, let me find it. <laughs> Hang on. Is it there? Yeah, I have to turn on my phone. Should we continue and I'll yeah, find it? <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. It was going to be 3.30 on Friday. And I was like, and apparently I'd organized it. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm living in like that thing in Fight Club where like I'm having another life when I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> where I just go around proposing to everyone. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, shit, I just got another one. Hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> Get out of here. Victoria, not Veronica. <laughs> I have no idea who it is. <laughs> Did you text back? I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's great. Oh, my God. Hmm. Probably uh, Luke Perry in Buffy. <laughs> Which I based a lot of my performance on, on him, actually. Fair enough. <laughs> that particular performance. I based my whole career on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a. I think the connection in Twilight between uh, death and like sex. I think that's. I think that's what is so attractive to people. I mean, it's such a sort of. It's such a powerful thing. I mean, it's like, and it, they're so closely connected anyway. Right. So like saying like literally like. I know what having.
having sex with you is going to be like, and it will mean it will be so amazing that I'll end up killing you. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. yeah. So if I sing, this is our last goodbye. Oh, because you're good at doing. I can't. I hate do to it. feel the love between <laughs> us die. <laughs> God. I can't remember that. <laughs> I can't remember that word. But the reaction to it was really, it was really priceless. Yes, I've never seen anyone like crawl up into themselves <laughs> and disappear on this show before. But Here we go. Who is most likely to wear the same clothes as yesterday? What are we supposed to do with the picture? Now choose the answer. Oh. Who... <laughs> Just quick on the draw, too. No Who's going to wear the same clothes right. as yesterday? All right, okay, one, two, three, reveal. Ah. See you up there. <laughs> You're a dirty boy, huh? Very dirty. Did yeah. you wear this yesterday? Do you want to have one of pretty much for the last three weeks? Does it smell bad, or do you wash in between at least? I've been on tour, but like, I mean, it was pretty Smell, sorry. smell. Yeah. Smell, yeah. Smell, yeah. See? Musty. A little musty, like maybe a couple of days worth, but nothing hardcore. Okay. Well, I didn't wear it literally every single day. I mean, I t I'm not entirely sure how to use a washing machine, though. Okay. What happened to you recently? Um, I think when I was in New York doing another screaming session, and uh, this little girl who was about seven came up to me and she had a scent of her, and she was like, can she asked me to bite her, and um, <laughs> but with but with such such longing and passion like she really really it wasn't just like hey can, can you bite me please it's like <laughs> i need you to bite me <laughs> and it's like it's like do you even know what you're saying like i mean oh like it was God. so much passion behind it i actually almost needed to do it like i, was, <laughs> I almost did do it <laughs> just carried away Trump looked quite frisky in that scene with you. <laughs> I was trying to, because we had to, I think she was just supposed to be sniffing my crotch, I think. <laughs> but I, and I couldn't, I couldn't get, and then that was in the book and stuff, but I couldn't really, it's incredibly awkward if you're trying to do the scene and you're like holding her tongue <laughs> down. <laughs> and so I put all these jelly beans around so she'd be sniffing around, but I put too many there and then she'd just be, the trunk was all over the place and it was almost impossible to, the scene made no sense. <laughs> just like, she kept slapping me in the face. <laughs> But you thought you had a special bond with Ty the Elephant, didn't you? You were quite jealous when you saw it with other people. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, I genuinely thought that, you know, I thought we had a bond, thought we had a little thing going on. Have you on. kept in touch? Um, there was one line, actually, which I forgot to say. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was. It was in amongst saying, you smell like curdled foreskin and something else. <laughs> it's like... Uh, can of rotten onions stuck to farmyard shit house or something. <laughs> it sounds like great. Individually, not at all. <laughs> but I mean, like groups of, of teenage girls, like can be can be quite frightening, especially when they're like. I I, I did a thing yesterday where I, I got out of the car and the whole street ran forward. And I was just thinking, like, wow, this must have been what it felt like to have to have like a medieval battle. <laughs> the songs which Robert gave me which is absolutely fascinating because they're kind of just all of the songs are just so brutal. I don't know, there's something about the value of life being quite low. I mean, you know, it's an incredibly dangerous job. The sea shanties are all quite nice. They're all about sort of falling in love with the mermaid and stuff. And like, but the lumberjack ones are just, I guess, because it's just a bunch of dudes together. <laughs> they're just like, they're just all, <laughs> it's, I guess, like the equivalent of kind of gangster rap. Yeah, no, I mean, it was just when I, when I first came, it was very easy to convince people that you're a member of the royal family. Well, at least you kind of know people the first time you go out to LA. Like, uh, you know, because I hadn't worked for, for three years. I was unemployed in, in London. And then they're like, so what have you been doing for the last three years? Like, oh, I've been at RADA with uh, Prince William. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, that sounds wonderful. You're English. Like, I completely believe you. Anna just saying after, like, you should do a TV series of this. And I'm like, of what? <laughs> <laughs> there is no team that like so you want me to end my career. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I know what I should do to promote this movie. Just do a thing about <laughs> eating a hot dog. <laughs> like, and losing your mind. You can call me Rob, I eat hot dogs. It just always makes you contort your uh, face in a strange way and it kind of helps with an accent and things. 
I'm always fascinated by a guy who chooses to have a moustache. Like, what are you hiding behind there? There's always something going on. Never, never trust him. I just always think, you see a guy with a moustache walking down the street, looks a little bit like a hipster, probably having a psychological breakdown. Yes, if you have one, maybe call a therapist. And uh, she sent me the email exchange. It was like, I'm freaking out. I, I don't want to go to the audition anymore. And then underneath it's saying, well, uh, find, find a Valium in my, in my bathroom. I'd never taken a Valium before. I, was, I just remember just feeling so glorious in the, in the back of the taxi with the window open and just being like, wow, this is what I've been missing. And so I kind of, I think I had this sort of quite spacey, detached <laughs> kind of thing in the audition, which must have kind of worked. Paranoid about my weight. So literally, I'm hearing you be, being sick today. I just oh, yeah. Because I got quite sick I, like in the last couple of days, and I'm just like so excited about it, being like, oh, next week I'm going to be so skinny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he said, like, well, it's basically Willem going, ar, 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 and you going, like, oh, 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 oh